Deputies say two Baker County parents confessed to abusing their six month old child. The sheriff's office released this photo following the arrest of 22 year old Andrea Southard and 23 year old Donald Holland. Reporter Marilyn Parker spoke with the Baker County Sheriff's Office, who says the parents would verbally and physically abuse the child. They left him with multiple broken bones. Did they seem remorseful at all? Um, not so much. These two young parents, 22 year old Andrea Southard and 23 year old Donald Holland, arrested. Police say they abused and neglected their six month old son. You learn in these investigations that some people just aren't fit to be parents. It starts Saturday, April 21st. The child was staying with his grandmother when, according to a report, she got a message from Southard saying, I need the nails off because I keep scratching him. I hate it. The grandmother then saw the scratches on the child's back and stomach. Nurses later told police the scratches were deep enough to scar. In another incident, the grandmother filed a report with DCF saying the child was never clean. She would witness the mother screaming at him, multiple violent outbursts towards him by both parents, and they would pick him up by his arm, lifting him in the air. The sheriff's office says the parents of the child brought the child to this hospital last Tuesday, and there they told nurses and detectives that the child sustained injuries from being at its grandparents' house in Georgia. Initially, detectives thought that the child had a dislocated elbow and a broken arm. The child had to be transported to Wolfson's Hospital, where detectives learned the child had six broken bones, some of them old, some of them recent. The doctor's report showed the child's injuries likely happened at the same time. The injury to his arm was from someone pulling and twisting it. Both legs were broken, but appeared to be healing and were between two and four weeks old. What was their demeanor like during their confession? So the mother has tried to say that she's totally responsible for the for the injuries to the child herself, that she suffers from postpartum dis uh, depression, that she has a learning disability and anxiety issues. She apologized for lying. Baker County Sheriff Lieutenant David Mancini says the father admitted to witnessing the mother slam the child when he would cry. Because he didn't protect the child or report the abuse, Mancini says he's just as responsible. We're told they lived here at the Baker Manor Apartments. Detectives learned that people living nearby witnessed the child being abused and yelled at by the parents. And this is why the sheriff's office says when we see abuse happen, we have to report it immediately, especially when it comes to children. Had this been reported to law enforcement, um, we could have done an investigation, maybe had that child removed prior to these injuries and to this, this level of abuse. The sheriff's office says they're working with DCF to either place that child in the foster care system or with another relative. We're also told that due to the number of injuries this child had, the state attorney's office could consider increasing or adding more counts against the parents. Reporting live, Marilyn Parker, Channel 4, The Local Station.